Okay, so today I'm going to disassemble a MyCloud home. You're going to start by removing the two footies on the bottom that reveal the hidden screws. Then you're going to remove those screws and then carefully pull off the silver half. There's some clips in there. You can either force it or you can, you know, finesse it. The clips are just to see if you voided the warranty or not. I clearly broke a couple. Doesn't really matter, it's held together by screws. Okay, so once you get that off, you're gonna unscrew the two screws in the clear piece that refracts the LED light upwards, and after that, it just kinda snaps out with a little finesse. There are two more clips on the short ends that you'll have to pop out, but once you get them, it comes out pretty easily. From there, there are four more screws on the sides. Now, you don't really need to take them out all the way. I only unscrewed them until I could force the hard drive out. I always try to unscrew these first before I take out the bar in the middle just because it makes it a little bit easier. Plus then you don't have to worry about accidentally popping out the hard drive while you're screwing it out. I ended up having to unscrew them some more anyway. So uh, the bar over the circuit board, you'll have to snap that out. I don't have any nails for this so it was a little bit difficult but it just snaps out suddenly when you get it. Then you just kind of weasel the whole thing out. My whole goal with this was I was going to switch this hard drive out with one from a brand new unit and hopefully have the dead MyCloud home begin working again. It's a convoluted plan that did not end up working so I wouldn't recommend it since now I voided the warranty on both devices and can no longer have it replaced for free. There are going to be two more screws on the board and then you just pull the board back because of a connector placed on the hard drive. Please like and subscribe!